FM24 is out and we've got the in-game and pre-game editor at our disposal. And you know what that means. It's time for some experiments and we're going to start off with an oldie but a goodie. A bumper TV deal for the Vanarama National League. Because apparently the AI is far better at building squads in this year's game. So let's put that to the test with a load of money for the Vanarama National League and simulate through. Simple as that. Let's jump in. Yes, gang, welcome back to the channel. Jay Wow here, and we are here with the Vanarama National League. All the teams with a comment on, we've not forgotten that from the last year, even though it's been a while since we've been here doing experiments. And we'll check in just on Dorking randomly, and here we go. Club details, facilities, and if you... Sorry, facilities? No, finances. What a terrible start this has been. And there you go, individual TV deal, £100 million. Renew income, fixed value, and every team in the league does have that. Simple as that. And of course, because the money's going to trickle through during the first season, there's not going to be a lot that's going to happen in the first season. So we're going to jump through. We're going to go through five years at the first juncture and just see the lay of the land and see how far teams have gone up and if anyone's gone down to the Vanuama North and South. So here we are. We're in the Vanuama National League South. We've started off a bit lower and we've got Boreham Wood, Maidenhead and Oxford City all down there and previous winners, Ebbsfleet, Bromley, Aldershot and Ebbsfleet again. Vanuama National League North, nobody is in there but Kidderminster, Field, Altrincham, they've all won at Gateshead as well and the Vanuama National League has, well, a lot of teams still there. So if we look at Aldershot, for example... And we go edit club details and we look at the finances. They currently have £312 million in the bank. That's very difficult to read. But trust me, that's £312 million in the bank. Let's just put some commas in there for you so you can see it a little bit better. And it's just taking it out again. You've got a transfer budget of £147,568,493. The TV deal still there. So... Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of teams have got a lot of money uh, in terms of transfers for the Vanarama National League. Well, not a lot's been going on. It's all free transfers. No one's spending any money. Right. Well, that's going to take a bit of time, isn't it, to to really kick in? League Two. We've got Woking, Oldham, Hartlepool, Dagenham, and Redbridge, and Chesterfield who are in there. York past winners are there. They've gone up into League One. In League One, we've got York, Solihull Moors, and Bromley. So in five years, the highest we've got is League One. Is it though? Championship. Last season, no one was there. No one was there the season before that. I don't think we can get um I don't think we could have got there any sooner. So yeah, fair enough. And while we're at it, we'll just have a quick look at the Premier League. Man City and Liverpool have been winning it. Brilliant. Let's hope that changes over the course of the next hundred years with all this money. But as I say, nothing has happened yet. I mean, half of these transfers are actually going to other teams. And they're not for a lot, are they? If we're looking through the Vanarama National, it's very disappointing so far. In the first five years, nothing really has happened. Look, Rochdale to Sheffield Wednesday for old Georgie Nevs. 850k to 1.4 million. Rochdale don't need the money. Rochdale have got, got 1.4 million for that. Uh, they've got nearly 300 million pounds in the bank. 1.7 million pound on wages they can spend. Are they spending anywhere near this? Vanarama National League. Right, I've just seen this. Jimmy Terranian has got £105,000 a week. Let me just change my view. One hundred five grand a week for Jimmy Terranian. And yeah, wow. Bloody hell. Panorama National League. Oh, because we've not ticked over the season. We can't actually see how much teams are spending. Right, so Phil are actually only spending 11 k a week on certain players. So they've actually not done too bad. Um, Connor Coventry, he's got a potential ability of 140. He's on 48 grand a week. Um, Aldershot aren't doing too bad, to be fair. Aldershot, though. Alteringham, again, not too bad for Alteringham. So they've not got mental with the wages I mean spending like four five six grand is quite bad for the Vanuama National League if we've if you played in the Vanuama National League you know that's high wages in in the teens isn't ridiculous 40 odd is mental but we've, we've just seen Rochdale um and yeah 105 grand is that the highest earner in the in the league surely there's a better way of checking this let me know in the comments if there is a better way of checking this 105k a week Callum Marshall is on 86 and then everyone else is like on considerably less yeah so there we go that is that is that right so we're five years in we need to jump probably should we go to 25 years 20 more years that should really uh, get things taken over but before we do if you can while you're here please do subscribe to the channel help me get to that next goal of 5,000 which is quite a way away still but you can be one of those people to help me get there faster and and there's a lot more experiments coming like this like other things attribute breakdowns all the work as well as some story narrative series stuff a bit like I did in the last FM but if you're new here you won't know that so yeah just subscribe to the channel and watch what's coming lots of great stuff coming I say so myself it's crap pitch wasn't it that? 25 years in the future then right okay here we are in 2048 and 25 years has managed to simulate in 4 hours 20 minutes 420 a eh? the magic number if 
I mean, this game really simulates fast. We, th these 100 year sims that we do, we can be doing 150, 200 years quite easily uh, on the regular. What am I doing shortlist for? Pointless. Right, Vanuama National League South. We'll go down here. There is no one down here, but Ebbsfleet again have been down here. Ebbsfleet are in the Vanuama National League. What's their finances saying? 884 million, nearly a billion pounds Ebbsfleet have got. And they've got a 220 million pound transfer budget with a wage budget of just 350k. That's weird, isn't it? Van Orn National League North Halifax are down there. Halifax, what are you doing? What are you doing? £950 million. Facilities, crap. Squad, <sighs> overpaying look martin martin garner he's going to explore his options at the end of his contract right he's on fifteen thousand pounds a week and absolutely so lucky to be getting it martin you greedy bastard you need to re-sign for halifax and help them get promoted because on 15 grand a week at that ability you're never going to get anywhere near that again martin garner we'll check in on him next time we come back he'll be gone I don't know what I'm saying, we'll be like 50 years in the future. Right. Van Arma National League then, well, Ebbsfleet, Kidderminster and Maidenhead are the three teams. So now things are really starting to move, aren't they? Chesterfield and Gateshead are in League 2. That's it. League 1, Field, Aldershot, Altrincham, Barnet, Oldham, Oxford, Southend and Wellston. So quite a bit of action going on in League 1. The Championship is going to be littered as well. It is. Borenwood, Bromley, Dagenham, Dorking, Eastley, Hartlepool, Solihull Moors, Woking and York. But is there anyone in the Premier League? No one's won it recently, which is concerning. But Rochda Rochdale. Well, West Ham have been winning the Premier League. Past winners. West Ham, United City, Tottenham, Chelsea, Newcastle. But Rochdale are in the Premier League. And they were paying a player 105k a week who was rubbish, but seems to have worked. Preston Gill is on £325,000 a week at 33 years old. Three caps. He's no, no no right to be anywhere near that. They've got so many players. I mean, 275k a week. He's a decent goalkeeper. I'll give him that. He's not quite worth that. He, I suppose in today's market, he's probably worth about 125, 150k. He's in the high 150s. And how much have they been spending on the old transfers? I mean, £63 million pounds in. Get, recouping 40. They sold Abduli Morong to Southampton. He's not a bad player. He's on 59k a week there. Who have they spent money on? Kyle Fagan, who's been regen faced. Yeah, he has. 155k a week. Not, not insane transfers there. 30 million for Joe Leonard. Not quite worth 30 million, in my opinion. He's not bad though, is he? Not terrible. Mm. They've not splashed the cash as much as I thought they would have done. I mean, a couple in the 20s here. Osman Buriaki, Dominic Taylor. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. English Premier Division. Has anyone else been up here? Well, it, oh yeah. Sorry, York were in the Premier League in 2044-45. They got relegated. It was the only time they were in there. Nine points deducted from Liverpool, who went into administration. Where are Liverpool? They're 10th. Where are Liverpool now? They're 12th in the Premier Division alphabetical order of course Brentford went into administration there as well they got relegated because of oh no no because of it they were going down anyway Wrexham up in the Premier League there look at that lovely stuff welcome to Wrexham anyway so we're down here in the championship and lots of teams have been here and if we look at previous season Rochdale went up automatically in second place and teams are they're up there they're challenging they're challenging for the playoffs. And look at this. Administration, 12 points deducted from Watford, Sheffield Wednesday and Hull, all in the same season. Lots of administration going on on this game. Stoke and Ipswich there as well. Norwich. Wow. Sunderland, Nottingham Forest. So, like, they're getting relegated, these teams. They're in, like, League One. Sunderland, they're back in the championship. There's lots of administration going on. I wonder how to combat that. Middlesbrough there. Sheffield United. West Brom. Luton every season there's someone getting into administration anyway okay so we've not had anyone win the championship we've had York go up into the Premier League we've had um Rochdale go up into the Premier League and Rochdale went up as a runner-up and when York went up they they finished they were the playoff winners sorry they did not finish third they were the playoff winners yeah but we are starting to infiltrate the Premier League with a couple of teams all through the Championship and pushing on for those playoff places. They've got loads of money. I'm sure all these teams are going to have bags of uh, opportunity to get up into the Premier League. So another 25 years and let's get to 50 years in the future. Eight hours and nine minutes for 50 years. Brilliant. I would say that's a night's sleep, but it's not when you've got a child that's three months old. Okay, we've not ticked over and oh, 
Well, there's an era of domination for Newcastle. They've won it on goal difference from Aston Villa. West Ham a third. Uh, City are down in 10th. Hartlepool and York are up there as Rochdale have just avoided relegation. Rochdale lost to Newcastle on the final day. Eastley lost to West Ham. They could have saved themselves. But the bottom four was all Vanarama National League teams. So where do we even start? Past winners. Uh, Newcastle have won it in, for the last like eight years. No one's ever got in the top three. They're all sort of lower mid table here. And York getting Europa League football last season and the teams that are in there they're just going down like they're coming up and going straight back down which is a bit of a shame really if we look at the, like York's team York are spending big on some of their players and look 275k a week for Javier Cueto he is actually pretty decent I mean not quite 275k a week but you know he did move to, to them from Real Madrid for 32 million pounds York have seemed to have been probably the most consistent side They've been up there. Altrincham getting Europa League football a good few years ago. Southampton administrating there. I mean, I wonder how much money. I mean, look at this back here in 2016. There's very rarely any teams in the, in the league. Five points deducted from Altrincham. Violation of budget rules. What does that mean? Violation of budget rules. What is their finances saying? They've got £91 million in the bank and £48 million transfer fee. They've got parachute payment of £40 million. They've still got the TV deal of £100 million. So are they spending are They spending their money? I mean, they're spending it big on wages, aren't they? Looking at this. 55 k They're in the championship. Luca Duffin, 165 k He's laughing his way to the bank, isn't he? Jordan Cook, 115 k a week. The championship then. Oxford City going up, as are Woking. Lots of teams in the championship then. At League One, just Kidderminster in League One. Nobody in League Two. Bloody Halifax. I nearly swore then. Halifax in the Vanarama National League. Still. I'm over a billion pounds. Over one billion pounds. And they've got they're playing they're paying people 35k a week. Look at this. Tafadzwa Sibanda exploring his options at the end of his contract. Like you're going to get nowhere near 35k a week with those attributes. Fictional person. And I'm fuming. Graham Keeney. He's joining St. Pat's Athletic. 24k. He's on at the minute. This Irish fella. He's joining St. Pat's Athletic. Can't see what his contract's going to be. Martin Sadler again. 13k. He's on. Exploring his options. Lucas Gummery. 5k. I mean, yeah. I mean, what are you going to say? Lucas Gummery. I mean, he's, he's only on 5k. He's not breaking the bank. But look at that. Halifax still in the Vanarama National League. Have they ever been up? Ever been out of it? Have they ever been to League 2? No. They've been to the Vanarama National North and that's it. They've gone down, but they've never gone up. Past. Vanuatu National League. Disappointed. No one in the Vanuatu National League North, and rightly so. And the Vanuatu National League South, once again, no one's down there, and rightly so. So we've not seen anyone build a squad and done actually anything sensible with this money. It's exactly the same as FM23. It feels like. Anyway, we're in 2073. We have got 50 more years to go through to. So we will go through to the end of this experiment now and we'll check in on the Carabao Cups and FA Cups as well just to see who's won trophies there. But hopefully someone has made it up to win the Premier League. If they haven't, I'll be a bit livid. 18 hours and 44 minutes is the simulation time and we are in 21.36. Yes, that's under promise and over deliver as usual. Here we go. We are back 113 years from the start. We're on the 5th of June and it's Everton who are current champions. And we see Gateshead and Oxford City have won it recently. So we have got winners. Three teams again going down this season. Altrincham, Aldershot and Kidderminster. Quite a few teams in the league there. Three teams getting European football. Two of them in the Champions League as well. In terms of the past winners, well, we, we've, we've seen it all, haven't we? We've seen it. Era of domination for Newcastle over a decade. West Ham have been in and amongst it throughout. How many have West Ham won? They've won 10 Premier Leagues. They've won six Champions Leagues. Go on, West Ham. Liverpool came back here for an absolute era of domination. Tottenham, United, Newcastle. And then, then, came, then came along little old Gateshead. Finishing third a couple of seasons. Then they got the win in 21-19-20. So nearly 100 years into the future. But because we've gone through those few extra years, we've actually got a win for Oxford City. And we've got another five for Gateshead. Five in a row. Premier League winners for five years in a row. Do you think they've won a Champions League? We're not going to click on them. But we will find out shortly. So half a million pounds a week for Musa Kalu, but he is a 176 player. So is he overpaid? Look at this, Jorgen Harvick, 180 current and current, current ability and potential ability, 400k a week. So they're actually paying players 
their value if we look at um the salary per annum everton are top then spurs then gateshead are a third so gateshead are actually 70 million pounds less than everton what are everton spending on players they've got an absolute monster wage bill 475k for glenn archer Look at this guy. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Yaroslav Basista. But there we go. Everton have won the Premier League there. And if you if we have a look, they've won a couple of Champions Leagues as well. 13 Premier League. Well, not 13, actually. They've actually only won four Premier Leagues in the experiment. Fair play. At Oxford City there with £187 million on wages. Leicester up there. Kidderminster. The Gateshead. Let's have a look at the finances of Gateshead. So they've got £98 million in the bank. Still getting the hundred million pound TV deal, and look at the look at the sponsor, general sponsor, four hundred million stadium sponsor, which is a mm, nine year deal, so that's fair. Uh, general sponsor, okay, nine years there, ten years there, nine years, ten years. So they got over hundred million pounds in sponsorship income, so they're getting absolutely boatloads of cash. But there you go, we've had some wins for Gateshead. So let's have a look at before we go and look at the Carabao Cup, then the FA Cup and then Europe, because we will go through all the European trophies, because I'm interested to see if anyone has won a lesser European trophy from the Premier League. Uh, we could go back and look at other seasons. If you're going to want to get your hands on this safe file to have a little look through, just uh, drop me a message on Twitter. Uh, I'll get this sent over because, uh, again, once again, it's too big for Patreon, so that Patreon is not thriving. Great. So what you can do is you can subscribe and watch some more videos. I've already mentioned it once, but yeah, do that. And comment down below of things that you might have wanted me to have looked at. And I can get back to you. I can have a little look. Why not? Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Championship. Mainhead have lost to Eastleigh in the final. Bromley are champions and former Premier League and Champions League winners West Ham have got promoted again. Woking getting relegated. Poor Woking. 150k a week. Jordan Provet is going into League One. He's wanted by who? Barnet, Chesterfield and Bournemouth. Well, they can probably all afford him. Rowan Howells, 140k a week. He's also wanted by Boreham Wood. Again, can probably afford him. Sheldon Harvey, transfer listed by request for four uh, for 4.2 million. He's on 105k a week. I mean, the logic of this, the logic. I want to leave because I'm getting paid all this and I want to go somewhere else where I'm going to get paid not even a tenth of that. If he's on £10,000 a week of that ability, I'd be baffled. Right, we're in the championship. League One. Anyone in League One? No one in League One. Well, at least they're in League Two. FC Halifax. Before we come and look at Halifax, because we're going to look at them. Van Rama National. No one's down there. But, interestingly, Sheffield United are down there. Again, Sheffield United, on the last football manager, seem to rise to the top and win so many trophies in these long experiments. This year, this is the second time I've seen them in a big, long experiment. The other one, the multiple 100-year sims I did, like 500 years I went in the future. Sheffield United were down in the Van Rama National League in, on that as well. So, they've not done very well so far but fm24 have sports interactive hide a sheffield wednesday fan one does wonder anyway no one is in the vanuama national league north or south even though i've not checked south i've just said it but i'm correct i am correct so no no premier league teams have got down there either um so we're in league two here and in league two any premier league teams in league two brighton burnley and there you go fc halifax then competitions in terms of the domestic league, they've they've just done it. They've only just come up. So because I come back in 2036, they finally made it out of the Vanuama National. And they stayed up at the first time of asking, to be fair. But bloody hell, Halifax, have you let us down? No wonder. They're, they're hoarding all the money because they're a bank, aren't they? Rich Bennett, they've got an underwriter now, for some reason. Over a billion pounds in the bank still. What are they paying the wages in League 2? 12k a week for Ryan Zarb, who... Oh, I've got no words... I've honestly got no words at some of these. Like, I mean, you, 12 and a half K a week for that. You've got to be Maltesing me. Hey, there's the unsubscribe button. Feel free to leave after that pun. And I wouldn't blame you. I'm leaving that in though. But if you liked that, that's the kind of shit puns that you're going to get on this channel. Every single video. You better believe it. So anyway... Halifax, yeah, um, transfers, not really not really spending loads. Yeah, they've still got a billion pounds spending average amounts on wages, but I don't know how they've only got a billion pounds. Like, what, what have they been doing? Must have must have amazing facilities. Hey, let's have a look at the facilities, shall we? Yeah, there you go. I actually got 20 for youth facilities and 20 for youth recruitment. Under-18 squad better be good then. There you go. Rubbish. 
Right, Carabao Cup time. And we've got some winners. We have got some winners. And to be honest, we actually had some winners previously when we came here 50 years into the future. Alteringham had won it in 2052-53. And going up, we've got York in 72-73. Eastley in 80-81. Runners up for York there against Spurs the following season. Kidderminster in 98-99. And Alteringham run up to Newcastle. And then we've had Gateshead, Kidderminster, Gateshead. Gateshead... Three three more times with Dorking twice and Oxford City. Then we've had Dorking and York again. So it's been a takeover of Van Arm National League teams in the Carabao Cup. But we're going to go back down to 2023 and we're looking at the FA Cup. We've had some wins for Bolton in 2033-34. Wolves scrolling up. No one massively unusual, especially considering how well some of the other teams have done. Bromley in 74-75. Aston Villa won it for six years in a row. Passed around again. Then we've had Hartlepool and Chesterfield. Runners-up for Dorking, York and Wellston. Woking as well as runner-up. Dorking with another win. Another win? With a win. Lots of runners-up for the FA Cup. South End have won one. Gateshead have won one. York, Gateshead, Oxford. Oxford and Gateshead have passed it around a little bit. York runner-up with Alteringham as well. So there you have it. We have had some FA Cup wins Fair play. And in terms of the Europa Conference League, then we're going to go and scroll up quickly. And we've had an Altrincham win in 2053-54. We've also had York City with it, winning it twice in three years. York and Leicester passing it back and forth to each other. Bromley in 1991. At South End in 01-02. Dorking run up to Lazio in 96-97. Gateshead in 12-13. Uh, season and Dorking in 24-25 and once again in 29-30 Hartlepool in 32-33 and that is the most recent season time for the Europa League and the Europa League I mean some big names winning in the first few seasons and then yeah you got Cities, Newcastle, Chelsea, Aston Villas, Arsenal's, Napoli's Man United, no. Hartlepool in 94-95, the first Van Arama National League team to win. And then we've had Southend and Dorking with two. Gateshead in 15-16, Dorking runner-up there as well. Three runners-up in a row for Napoli. Unlucky for them. Dorking runner-up, Oxford City winning. York beating Dorking in the final. An all Van Arama National League final in 30-31. Although they weren't in the Van Arama National League at that point. But you know what I mean. Most recently, Dorking were runners-up to Puskas Academia. Now it's time. For the end and the Champions League. The usual suspects to begin with, with PSG, City, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Arsenal. I mean, they're not usual suspects, but you expect them to with the team that they've got, especially on Football Manager. Um, Chelsea, Barcelona, Newcastle, Juve, West Ham in 45-46. But again, it's just much of a muchness all the way up here. No one really out of the ordinary. Um, yeah, OK, this is really starting to get disconcerting, but maybe we'll win as we keep scrolling but we're still scrolling and we've still got no winners oh dear well we're over 100 years oh Gateshead have won three in four years out of nowhere <laughs> two in a row you wait 103 years to someone to win the Champions League and two come along at once I mean speak two in a row for Gateshead Tottenham three runners up in a row over here Gateshead winning two of those Athletic Madrid with the other Oxford City in 32-33 as well and Gateshead running up to Real Madrid last season with Tottenham winning it this season Tottenham won quite a few actually how many have Tottenham won? 12 12 Champions Leagues for Tottenham and the Premier League is still ranked first so there you go there's the Van Rama National League we'll look at the Premier League table as we round off this experiment it has been interesting um, a lot of money was spent a lot of money was wasted on wages as ever some they've won some trophies they have won some trophies do they win some trophies on other times i mean it's a bit random isn't it sometimes they do sometimes they don't but what i will say is from the english leagues like the reputation of the league once you get into the premier league and you've got the money you can attract certain players and if you if you if you've got that consistent financial flow of money coming in you are going to make it sooner or later and as you can see here We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Half the Premier League is made up of those teams, which, you know, out of 24, you'd expect maybe a few more to have actually been up there and been consistently winning. But, you know, in 100 years, meh, it is what it is. But what can we what can we establish from this? The AI is just as bad at building squads, just as bad when they've got money. So, yeah, like, what more can you say? I hope you had a good time today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments down below anything you would like me to have seen, and I will let, get back to you. Please do like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's the third time this video I've asked you to subscribe. So if you haven't, and you're still here, do it. 
Uh, any ideas for future experiments that you'd like me to undertake, please do let me know in the comments down below. I've got quite a few ideas circulating, but some of them are going to be a bit of the less admin heavy ones to begin with, because I want to start getting a little bit of content out there, get a bit of flow of content going out onto the channel. So anything that's a bit more admin heavy might, might be a few weeks down the line, uh, while I just find my feet with everything as well, because... As mentioned in previous videos, I've got a new baby, which is taking up a lot of time. So I haven't got as much time to donate to the channel as I once did, but I will endeavor to try and keep a consistent upload schedule. What that consistency is remains to be seen. But thank you very much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Take good care of yourselves, gang, and I will see you very, very soon.